Okay, I'm back. I just want to address some trolls and shit. Fuck y'all. Now, I just want to get y'all a take real fast in the comment section below. Oh, yeah, and by the way, subscribe now. The subscribe app notation will be right here. So, I just want to get y'all take real fast on Miley Cyrus. How do y'all feel about this uh this girl? How do y'all feel about her? Do y'all think she's doing too much? Do y'all think she's doing like not not enough? Because to me, I think that she has one of the most fucked up asses in the industry. She shakes it like it's something there. She shakes her ass like like she doesn't know that sh her shit look that way like at the VMAs, that shit look disgusting. Fucking disgusting. I don't understand why she would even wear some shit like that. It was like two sides of jet like. It was like two sides of the ass. It was like fucking baloney. That shit would just like smack. Oh my God. Ugh. Man. That shit was disgusting. That whole VMA uh, performance, that shit was nasty. Then, you know. She she shaking her ass in Juicy J video. That's fucked up. She's just a whore. Like she went from Disney Channel, you know, she went from Disney Channel, like a little kid. She went from a little kid to a whore. Like why? Why is all these people why is all these motherfucking uh child stars, child actors turning into motherfucking crazy people and fucking whores? Like Motherfucking people that I grew up with. I'm not gonna lie. I watched all that, and I watch. No, I didn't never watch no. Uh, I didn't never watch Miley Cyrus. I, I'm, I'm not even gonna fraud you. But the person I'm about to bring up was in all that, and I used to watch Nickelodeon back in the day. I never watched Disney Channel. Disney Channel was never my thing. It was only Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network to me. But nevertheless, now the person I'm about to bring up was in all that. Her name is Amanda Bynes. She's fucking crazy out of her fucking mind. I don't understand. Like, I never, I didn't see this coming. I didn't see this coming. You know what I mean, because to me, she was like, the bit, like, she grew up, she's a bad bitch now. This bitch is bad, but she's just fucking crazy. She's like Gucci, man. Fucking mentally insane. Like, but I saw a picture of her, yo. Yo, she looks so fucking good. If she would just get her mind right, yo, and get her a steady boyfriend and get back into acting, like, she'd be the shit right now. I ain't gonna hold you, yo. She'd be the shit right now. But no, she's all fucked up. Like, she's fucking insane. I don't know how, I don't know what kind of medication they gonna give her to jump back from this shit. But nigga, they need to give it to her and give it to her fast, for real. And and I saw a video on TMZ where she was drinking, she was drinking, and then she just decided to drive. Like they show her getting into the car while she was drunk, and the motherfucker that's getting into the passenger seat was a guy. He's gonna let her drive drunk. What type of nigga is you to let this bitch, this crazy bitch, drive drunk? You gonna die, you fucking, you fucking crazy ass motherfucking white boy. And I don't even want to be, like, I'm not racist. So, it was just dumb as shit, like, to watch that nigga get into the car after the bit, after Amanda Bonds was drinking. Like, she's mentally fucking loony. Like, and then this motherfucker, then this motherfucker want to uh, sit in the passenger seat and let her drive. I'd be like, hold the fuck up. First of all, you're not even going to get in my, you're not, I'm, I don't give a fuck if this your car. I don't give a fuck, like. You're, I'm not getting in the passenger seat with you fucked up like this. Number one, you're drunk off your ass. Number two, you're mentally insane. You could drive us off this fucking bridge. Now, I would never let somebody drive drunk. If somebody is drunk, you're getting your ass in the passenger seat and I'm driving. Fuck all that shit. I don't play that because I'm not dying for nobody being drunk and shit off their ass and mentally crazy. First of all, that's your problems, not mine. So... Getting off subject, talking about Miley Cyrus and shit, but 
What y'all like in the comment section below? Tell me what y'all think about Miley Cyrus, and tell me what y'all think about uh, Amanda Bonds being crazy and shit like that. And tell me what y'all think about Miley and her little ass shaking thing that she got going on with her now, where she's hanging around Juicy J too much, and Juicy J is a bad influence on her because every time Miley Cyrus is with Juicy J. She's always on World Star shaking that ass. Like, shaking that fucking white little jiggly stink ass. Like, she need to stop doing that shit. For real, man. She better... She's... I mean, she's a good singer. You know, she's a good actor. I mean, you know, she don't have to shake her ass. Like, she does not have to do shit like this. I mean, I mean, I mean, this is her life. Whatever. But she's... She's fucking her life up. She making her she making herself seem like more of a whore than Well, I don't know if she's a whore. I, to me, I feel like she's about to make a sex tape soon, just like Paris Hilton. You know, just like Paris Hilton and fucking Kim Kardashian, even though they only did that shit to be even more famous, even though fucking Paris Hilton was already famous when she made it. Kim Kardashian made a, a fucking sex tape with Ray J and got famous, so you know, whatevs. But like I said, comment, comment below. Tell me what you think about Miley Cyrus and Amanda Bonds. And subscribe to my channel. Fuck the trolls. And follow me on Instagram. The link, Well, I can't link my Instagram, but, you know, I will put my Instagram name below. I will put my like page on Facebook below. And I will put my Twitter below. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. And like me on Facebook. All right, out.